Once you get to the people search engine of LinkedIn, there are many, many search filters that you can use to find people who have particular keywords based in particular parts of their profile. So we know that some keywords are more relevant when they're in their job title. Some keywords are more relevant when it's in their school or education section. Some keywords are more relevant when we have a particular organization, for example, their company that they're working with. And some results are more relevant when it comes to our degrees of connectivity. For example, are they a direct connection of ours? That's a first degree connection. Or are they a connection of one of our connections? That's a second degree connection. Or are they just outside that level of connectivity? That's a third degree and everybody else connection on LinkedIn. So we can zoom in on perfect people first using these search filters. Here's how to use them. When we get to our people search engine, simply click on all filters. When I click on all filters, a list of all of the filters will scroll down on the page. Here you can see we have, we can find people by their first or last name. We can search for people based on their company, based on their school, based on their title, which means job title. We can look at people who are connections of a specific one of my connections. So for example, my colleague George, who's filming this right now, I can look at George's particular connections to see if he has connections um, who meet the criteria of one of my requisitions, for example. So I'm looking at his referral network to pinpoint particular people in his network that might be relevant for a job. That's a really, really useful filter. I can also use the location filter. Location is an absolutely excellent filter here because of course I want to find people who live and work in the location that this job is based in or perhaps are relocating from, from a particular area. That's a really, really useful filter. I can also use companies, which is actually to select multiple companies at a time. When I scroll down here as well, I can look at people who worked in a company in the past. Perhaps they were a past employee of ours and we're looking for boomerang hires or a past employee of a big four maybe, or, or some other organization that we know in terms of pedigree, I really would like to find people who have worked for that organization because they have the level of skill or they worked on that type of project. I can also look at people who came from particular universities and schools, all of these particular filters, their industry, for example, all really, really useful when it comes to zooming in on perfect people first. So when it comes to the most useful filters, the most useful filters, of course, are title, the job title. When I know that a particular person has this job title or these kind of keywords in their job title, they are much more likely to be the type of person that I'm going after based on the particular rec. Now, job title can also trip us up sometimes because job titles are made up of two different parts. Job titles are usually made up of some form of functional element and some form of seniority or hierarchical element. For example, a project manager. Job titles are usually made up of two or more words. Project is the function and manager is their seniority. So making sure that we write a Boolean string that accounts for the function as well as the seniority level or one or either of those will really, really help us expand our search to find exactly the right people based on their job title. Another really useful filter is the location filter. I personally love using this filter. It's a particularly really good one to zoom in on exactly the right people at that moment in time to reach out to for this particular requisition. There are other filters as well when it comes to location that sometimes we don't like to use location because we wanna just see in general, where do people with this job title and these skills exist in the market? And if I'm using LinkedIn to fill my pipeline of talent or fill a, a profile rather than a specific requisition, it can be really, really good to know that there is a large concentration of people with this job title and these skills based in this location that can be really good market information. Their current company, this is a particularly useful one as well because the current companies, if I know that a, a person with this job title and in this employer, without any of the skill keywords at all, but they work for one of my five key competitors, then that can be really, really useful information. Most, job, uh, most LinkedIn profiles, believe it or not, a little bit over half of all LinkedIn profiles are virtually empty. They're very shallow profiles. They have just one job title and one employer and that's it. So if I fill my search criteria with all of these, um, with all of these skills and experience and particular keywords that I'm expecting to find on a CV or a resume, well, the people who just have one job title and one employer and that's it, well, they won't show up in my search. So using current companies as a proxy for experience or proxy for skills can be also very helpful. 
the connections as well is a really useful filter because it helps me sort my search. I'm going to go after the people who are in my direct connections right now first because I can communicate with them and I can also leverage them for perhaps for referrals or perhaps I've placed that candidate in the past or hired that candidate in the past. Second degree connections are also really useful because I can leverage my first degree connections to get to those second degree connections also and then going out by third and everyone else. In other words, completely outside my network in order to expand my reach into that particular market. And the connections of, that's one I really, really like, particularly for searching for referrals, rather than simply asking an employee within the organization do you know anybody who does this job? Um, they perhaps might not know exactly that one of their friends or one of their connections does this role. But if I can search for the connections of one of my employees or one of my colleagues, then that's a really, really useful thing. I can simply approach my colleague and say, hey, did you know that your friend Mary does this job? Would you mind reaching out to her or introducing me to her because I'd love to approach her about working here or would you recommend her for me?